guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all 5 skincare mistakes that you should avoid in your early 20s. Now that I've entered my late 20s, I would like you guys to not repeat the same mistakes that I made during my teenage. When I was a teenager, my hormones were all over the place and with puberty hitting me, my skin started showing so many changes, my skin started breaking out and my mom would always come up with the simplest solutions that actually worked for me. Uh, but when I entered my early 20s, I got a bit, little bit curious about, you know, trying out different products and about the entire active ingredients world. And I started trying so many different products that seemed to be a little harsh for my skin. And I started noticing that my skin got all irritated and it started breaking out. And that's when I realized it was time to switch to the simple way. That's why I started using Simple. It's a brand with all simple clean and kind to skin products and their products have a soap free formula with no added uh, fragrance no added colors and no alcohol so basically no bad stuff at all so i'm going to be sharing with you a basic three step everyday skincare routine that you can follow which is going to be very gentle for your skin as the first step i'm using the simple refreshing facial wash this is the most gentle cleanser that i've ever used and it's their best seller and you know how some face washes leave your skin to be squeaky clean and all stretched out? That's something that's really harmful for your skin. But the simple face wash makes my skin so smooth and so hydrated. It has this gel-like texture and it's 100% soap-free. It does not contain any harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. But it only helps to clean your skin gently and makes you feel all nice and refreshed. So the first skincare mistake that I used to make especially during my teenage years was to use a harsh face wash thinking that it would remove all of the dirt and acne of my skin but in real it was actually only damaging my skin, damaging the skin barriers and disturbing the pH level of my skin leading to a lot of damage in the long run but the best solution to this is to switch to a simple face wash like this one by Simple. This is so gentle on the skin, it is not at all harsh, it has no harsh chemicals, it doesn't have any soap also and it's very very gentle on the skin. So you can switch to a face wash like this and this is suitable for everyone whether you're a teenager or in your early 20s or late 20s you can use this face wash. Now during your teenage years it's very hard to have perfect flawless looking skin because we all have some bumps here and there, some acne here and there, we have some discoloration going on etc and it's really Really hard to get perfect skin so what we all do is that we try to cover up all of our blemishes all of our imperfections with makeup and that's one of the major mistakes that I made I used to put so much makeup on my skin every single day to cover up my acne to cover up my acne marks and that only made my skin worse so the solution here is to use minimal makeup and use more of skincare products to solve the problem rather than trying to hide the problem so I have this simple 10% vitamin C plus E plus F serum now this contains 10% of vitamin C which helps to brighten up your skin and boost the inner radiance of your skin. It's got vitamin E which helps to hydrate your skin and make it look all soft and supple and it's got vitamin F which also helps to hydrate your skin and it's also got anti-aging properties so it slows down the aging process. It's got so many benefits all in one serum and vitamin C is that one ingredient that changed my skincare game completely. The glow that you see on my skin is all because of using vitamin C. Vitamin C is such a strong ingredient and for your information not all vitamin C serums are created equally. I've heard so many people complaining that vitamin C does not work for them but when I did my own research I found out that Packaging, formulation and concentration also matter so you need to pick a vitamin C serum that is suitable for your skin. Choose a vitamin C serum which is in a stable form which has a skin friendly pH and if none of the vitamin C serums out there suit your skin this surely will because this is such a simple form of vitamin C along with so many other skincare benefits and all you need to do to apply this is just take 3 to 4 drops of the serum spread it all across your face evenly and gently pat it into your skin it's going to give you that instant boost of radiance and also in the long run it makes your skin really glowing it's also got anti-aging benefits which is an add-on 
The third skincare mistake that I mostly made during my teenage years was to never moisturize my skin thinking that my skin was already so oily and it did not require any moisturization and whenever I tried to moisturize my skin uh, my skin just felt so oily and so greasy and it would start sweating in some time that's because I was always going for the wrong moisturizer when you have oily skin or when it's like hot and humid in your city you want to go for a lightweight moisturizer something like the simple hydrating light moisturizer this gives you 12 hours of moisturization and it's so lightweight on your skin it gets absorbed in the skin instantly and does not feel oily or sticky at all it makes your skin instantly so hydrated so moisturized and so plump my skin feels so soft and so plump right after applying this moisturizer and it's great for all skin types even for sensitive skin because this does not contain any alcohol any added colors or any added perfume so if none of the moisturizers on the market work for you go for the simple hydrating light moisturizer this is definitely gonna work for you i know so many people who use it and they love it the fourth skincare mistake that i made for so many years straight was over exfoliating my skin while exfoliating is good for your skin as it removes the top layer of dead skin over exfoliation is very harmful for your skin it leads to tearing of your skin tissues it uh, leads to damage of your skin barriers and that's very very hard to repair so over exfoliation is nothing but bad for your skin and when i was a teenager and also in my uh, early 20s i used to use a lot of physical scrubs to exfoliate my skin every now and then so frequently and physical scrubs are so harsh for your skin and when you use them frequently they lead to nothing but damage to your skin so that's exactly what happened and then i switched to chemical exfoliators and chemical exfoliators also i started using very frequently thinking that it would uh, help to deal with my acne marks faster but you should uh, limit the use of any exfoliator that you're using to just once in 15 days not more than that because that can only lead to damaging your skin and nothing good ever comes out of it so make sure that you exfoliate your skin sometimes but never over exfoliate your skin the fifth skincare mistake that i made is something that sounds a little stupid but it has something to do with hygiene it's to change your pillow covers every now and then i advise you to change your pillow covers every three to four days if you have the problem of dandruff or if you have the problem of acne and if not then you can change uh, your pillow covers once in every seven days but you need to change them at least in that period of time because your pillow covers accumulate so much of dirt so much of dust and so much of bacteria and when you lie down on your pillow to sleep the pillow cover touches your skin directly and transfers all of that dirt and bacteria onto your skin leading to clogging of pores and acne and also if you have dandruff all of that dandruff gets transferred on the pillow covers and from there onto your skin and that can also lead to acne and a lot of other issues so uh, to avoid all of that make sure that you keep your pillow covers clean make sure you wash them frequently and change them frequently i have faced a lot of skin problems in my teenage years due to dirty pillow covers and since then i've made it a point to change them very frequently whenever i feel like they're dirty so those are the five skincare mistakes that i made during my teenage years as well as in my early 20s and that led to a lot of damage on my skin and it took a lot of time effort and consistency to repair my skin and to make it look like how it looks today and the major uh, role that played in uh, repairing my skin was switching to more of kind and gentle products like simple simple skincare is very gentle for your skin it's suitable for all skin types even for sensitive skin so if you have a lot of skincare issues you can switch to simple skincare uh, that way it's going to help in gently repairing your skin slowly consistency is key uh, you have to be consistent with using these two three products in your routine do not use like a gazillion amount of products just switch to two or maximum three products in, a, in your skincare regime and make sure that you're consistent with them if you just use these products for a week or two you're not going to see that much of a noticeable difference than if you use them for a month or two if you use these products consistently for over a month you're going to see how beautifully your skin is going to change and how it's going to transform into better skin so if you want to repair your skin if you want your skin to uh, you know look like how my skin looks 
then definitely check out these simple skincare products they help me a great way in repairing my skin and in making my skin look how it looks today so if you have a lot of skin problems then switch to simple skincare the links to purchase simple products is mentioned in the description box below you can check that out simple uh, products are used worldwide by so many people and they are so gentle for the skin they work for everyone so i highly recommend you check out these simple skincare products so that was my video on five skincare mistakes that you can avoid in your early 20s i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new here follow me on instagram and yeah with that's a wrap for now i shall see you in my next video